Hey fam, welcome to my relics path guide for all three combat styles. Today we will talk about relics and see the best paths for each styles. But first, which is more up and is your best choice for tier 2? Banker's Note or Fire Sale? And tier 8, Undying Retribution or Executioner? Comment below. Content page, 1, Theories on Berserker, Bloodthirsty, Soul Stealer Relics 2. Path of Range forward slash Mage 3. Path of Melee 4. Step-by-step -step guide to maximize undying retribution and weapon master with melee combos. 5. Thoughts and analysis on undying retribution 6. Relic clashes now let's talk about the theories on the three new relics. Theories Berserker Relic, 1.5 to 2x max hit damage when low HP, 10 to 30%. Similar to Daroks, Maritinier, more accuracy forward slash defense. Berserker Relic would synergize well with Undying Retribution when tribriding forward slash fighting mobs with multiple combat styles. Or, area of effect attacks hit multiple enemies at once in multi-combat areas. Great for those who don't have access to AoE weapons like Venator, Ice Barrage, Chin Compass. Bloodthirsty Relic heals player for X amount of HP forward slash prayer for each mob KC, similar to Gut Hands, Maritania, more damage after each KC. Soul Stealer, reanimate mobs into friendly offensive forward slash defensive allies to help in combat forward slash utility, curse effects like lowering stats. Or, each KC gives buffs to player, lose HP to gain combat stat buffs and heal back when maximum. Now see the paths for range, mage and melee. We will assume that mage path will pick desert, melee will pick Mauritania and range will pick Z. Path 1 range forward slash mage endless harvest is great for woodcutting logs to craft bows and ammos for range, mining pure essences to craft runes and bark armor. Globetrotter is great for range forward slash mage relic enjoyers, who will also pick cocks for twisted bow range or toa for chumukan shadow mage. Fire sale is great for range and mage who spend a lot of gp on ammo and runes. Archer's embrace and superior sorcerer are the next choice for rangers and mags. Infernal Gathering synergizes efficiently and effectively with Endless Harvest with more resources and EXP gained. Bloodthirsty is an alternative for more healing forward slash self-sustain bossing and lack of life leech. Equilibrium for those who want to level up slow skills like agility, herb lore, construction, roomy craft, thieving faster. And it is an option for those who did not pick Z. Farmer's Fortune and Alt for those who pick Z which has farming guild to maximize farming EXP forward slash gains. Soul Stealer for those who squishy high DPS range forward slash mage enjoyers, lack life leech weapons, did not pick Maritania for melee weapons forward slash gears and or lack special attack weapons. Berserker is an alt for those with life leech weapons forward slash more tanky gears. Path 2 melee trickster is great. Path 2 melee trickster is great for melee forward slash Maritania enjoyers with pickpocket fires in Maritania, red chins in Kandarin, herb eyebores, hallowed sepulture in Mori, shades of Morton, fire making in Mori, winter tart in Z. Fairy's flight is great for Mori that lacks a lot of jewelry teleports unlike Z and wilderness. Banker's note synergizes well with trickster for thieving and combat farming forward slash extended bossing with noted food and potions in general. Brawler's resolve is next choice. Treasure Seeker to minimize steps needed for clues and able to stack clue scrolls while bossing forward slash skilling forward slash mobbing. Ruinous Powers works well with strong prayer training at Ectophantus, Maritania, to make full use of prayer gears and fast prayer levels. Weapon Master to lower HP and spam a great variety of melee spec weapons and works well with Folder Oaks and Brawler's Resolve. Guardian to make melee an all-rounder balanced character that lacks the area of effect attacks and improves the tanky and slow melee. Style. Guardian is great for tanky melee and non-AoE range enjoyers, Guardian will draw aggro from mobs and lure them to melee's attack range. See step-by-step -step method to maximize melee combos, undying. Retribution and weapon master below. 1. Where DP Yes gear and and super combat pot and melee prayer forward slash piety and bundos gs forward slash dragon warhammer do 2x 50% special attacks too use weapon master to do 4x 50% special attacks may swap with dragon claws forward slash void walker forward slash ancient gs heal forward slash abyssal bludgeon low prayer dps forward slash volatile nightmare staff forward slash zed crossbow forward slash darkbow forward slash soul reaper axe 3
Low HP, switch to Folderogues, DPS into Undying Retribution, May of Protection Prayers 4. Dies and revive with UR, full HP 5. Switch to DPS gear forward slash weapon, Avernic Defender, and Abyssal with forward slash bis 6. When 25 to 75% HP, switch to Life Leech weapon 7. UR cooldown almost refreshed, return to step 1 or 2 if fighting same mob, rinse and repeat. DPS spec webs. Dragon Claws forward slash void walker forward slash ancient GS, heal, forward slash abyssal bludgeon, low prayer DPS, forward slash volatile nightmare staff forward slash Z crossbow forward slash darkbow forward slash soul reaper axe life leech. Thoughts on Undying Retribution, Combo, Undying Retribution plus Darokes plus Brawlers Resolve plus Spec Relic forward slash Weapon Specialist plus Good Hands forward slash Saradaman GS plus Bankers Note equals Immortal Infinite Farming. UR is also great for Squish Image forward slash Range Relic Enjoyers especially with AoE weapons forward slash Attacks, Burst and Barrage spells, Chin Compass, v Bow, Scythe of Fature, UR is great for melee since the mobs would be in close range but, not as good as Guardian Synergy which is long range AoE attacks that complement close range melee single attacks. Unless, you are picking Maritainier and going full Darokes then it makes sense to pick both BR and UR to complement low HP Darokes style to maximize DPS. Clashes, why you should only pick one of the two relics and not both in the same league. Endless Harvest and Banker's Note will clash as this makes the auto banking for EH somewhat obsolete when you can note the items yourself to make more space and continue the grinding. Production Prodigy and Infernal Gathering as PP can't work if you already process your resources during harvesting, thus wasting the ability. Banker's Note and Undying Retribution as the ability to bring many noted food and potions and even more gears and weapons to swap thus making player very unkeelable and rendering the UR somewhat obsolete. Brawler's Resolve and Undying Retribution as they are both tank relics thus making your defense too strong and stifling your offense meaning less DPS. Superior Sorcerer and Guardian as they both create AoE attacks and thus wasting for a better option to maximize DPS like Executioner or Undying Retribution. Alright that's all folks. Thanks for watching. What's your strategy for League 4 and how different is it from the parts I have shown? Comment below and please like and subscribe for more old school RuneScape and League videos. Good luck and have fun in the League. Cheers! Let's say you want to practice bosses with ranged, you could go melee or mid relic and pick a Skarnir or Wilderness to try Leviathan, Kree or Corlisto. Regions bosses and their weaknesses. Now let's move on to my Excel sheet to look at mobs weaknesses and their regions. This table is very useful for league and main game as you can find out which bosses you can fight depending on the combat style of your best gears. Next the second table shows what gears and weapons you are able to obtain from each regions. Feel free to pause the video and theory craft your ideal gear and weapons. Step 1 to step 28, first I get rune crossbow, second, obsidian weapons from the free regions. Third, dragon axe from Z region to woodcut logs and fletch them into ammo and weapons. Fourth arc light once I unlock desert region. Fifth abyssal whip, six dragon defender and boots from Ascarnia unlock. Seven full void armor. Eight fire cape. Nine obsidian armor. Ten saragnus cudgel. 11 Dragon Warhammer. 12 Ancient Staff. 13 Tome of Water or Mage Training Arena Equipment. 14 Onyx for Jewelries. 15 Granite Boots. 16 Bundos and Armadil Armor. 17 Armadil Crossbow. 18 A God's Words, Saradom and Blessed Sword. Zamarak Spear, Staff of Dead. 18 B Dragon Hunter Lance. 19 Entry Tombs of a Masked Massery, Osmutan Fang. 20 Ancestrals, Rigor, Orgury. 21 Tbo. 22 Z Crossbow and Vambraces. 23 Torfer. 24 Abyssal Dagger and Bludgeon. 25 Primodial, Pegasian and Eternal Boots. 26 Inferno Cape. 27 Max Cape. 28 Expert Toe. End screen. Alright, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. I will show the info in slow mo at the end so you can theory craft your league strategy.
What other league-related videos should I do next? Comment below and tell me your league strategy so I can critique and give advice. Please like and subscribe for more old-school RuneScape videos.